Hi, everyone from Motion VFX. In this lesson, we will learn how to use titles and effects in DaVinci Resolve. You will find all the titles and effect components on the top left in the effects tab. In this tab, you will find the video and audio transitions, but also the titles and the generators, the various effects and open effects. And to conclude the audio effects, let's start with the titles. There are various kinds of titles, titles provided by default with DaVinci Resolve, and titles from third companies like Motion VFX. You can preview all the titles with their animation by skimming the cursor over the thumbnail. I will drag and drop the basic titles on my first clip. Then, to edit the title, I will open the inspector. I can edit the text, I will type Invasion. You will be able to modify any parameters like the font, the size, the color of the border, and many more. In the Settings tab, you will be able to modify the transform parameters like the size, the position. If you want to create some animations in and out, you can add some video transitions on the title. I will drag a basic cross dissolve at the beginning, and the second one at the end. I would like to play it in real time, but it's not smooth at all. To be able to read any title or effect in real time, we will need to use the render cache feature from DaVinci Resolve. To do so, we will have to go to the playback menu and select the render cache. Inside, you will have the choice between None, Smart, and User. I will select the second option, Smart. As soon as I click on it, a red line appears over my project. Red line means that the project is not rendered yet. But if you don't touch anything during 5 seconds, DaVinci Resolve will start to render, and the line will become blue. Once it is done, we can play the clip and get the effect in real time. If you modify any parameters, like the color of the text for example, we can see that the line is back in red. But if we don't touch anything again during 5 seconds, it will turn to blue. It is the same if I replace the first transition, DaVinci Resolve will render it automatically. So what is the difference between the option Smart and User? If you open the project settings, in the master settings section, there are many useful options. First, you can define the delay before DaVinci Resolve starts to render the cache. By default, it is set to 5 seconds, but you can modify it. For example, I can set it to 1 seconds to start the render faster. Below, you will be able to customize the settings for the user mode. You can select independently if the transitions, the composites, or the fusion effects will be rendered when the user mode is selected. For example, I can say only transition will be rendered in cache when I'm in the user mode. Then click on save to validate your choice. Let's have a look also to the DaVinci Resolve preferences. On the user tab, in the editing section, you can set the default duration of the still frames, transitions and generators that includes titles. 5 seconds is the default value, and all the motion VFX titles are designed to work on that default duration. I can set it to 10 seconds, for example, and click on Save. So now if I drag a new title or generators, the duration will be 10 seconds. I will set it back to 5 seconds. Besides the basic titles, DaVinci Resolve provides fusion titles. They are more advanced with more complex animations and effects. I will drag the digital glitch preset. DaVinci Resolve will cache it automatically and we will be able to play it in real time. Like the other titles, you can customize many parameters directly inside the inspector. But as it is a fusion titles, you can go further by clicking on this little icon. In fact, you can edit all the fusion titles in Fusion. So I can open the group where all the components of the titles are. I will select the prism blur effect. And in the inspector, I will boost the chromatic aberration. After your modification, you just have to switch back to the edit page and you will have your modification inside your project.
Besides the default titles provided by DaVinci Resolve, you can import titles pack from other companies like Motion VFX. There are some free or paid packs available on the Motion VFX website. All these packs will offer a large choice of high quality cinematic titles to your project. All the titles are fully customizable. Let's bring one title from the M Title Film Pack. In this case, I would change the color of the flare and add some red to be more dramatic. If you want to know more about the titles pack from Motion VFX, each pack has its own dedicated pages on Motion VFX website with all the details. And also, each pack has its own tutorial to easily start with. Next, we'll see the workflow with the FX. In the FX folder, you will find the Fusion FX provided by DaVinci Resolve. I will drag the CCTV FX directly on the second clip. In order to customize this effect, I will select the clip and in the inspector, I will click on the effects tab. I will be able to enable disable the effect and I will get access to many parameters like the text, the skylines and noise effects. On this effect, there are three versions of this effect or three presets. The first one has a red record circle blinking. If I switch to the version 2, no more red circle and the version 3 will have a steel red circle. I will modify the camera number to 2. And like the title, as it is a fusion effect, you will be able to open it in fusion and get access to all the components of the effect. So in fusion, you will be able to modify the position of all the elements you want, like the text cam 2, for example. By switching back to the edit page, we will have the modification in the project. Depending on the effect, you can also modify some parameters directly inside the viewer of the edit page. To do so, you will have to select and enable the fusion overlay option of the viewer. For this specific effect, you will be able to modify the bottom text position directly inside the viewer. I will bring back some color and we are good. I would like to have the same effect to the next shot. I will copy my clip by pressing Command plus C. Then I will select the next shot. And in the edit menu, I will choose the paste attribute option, option plus V. Inside the pop-up window, I will check the fusion effects attribute and click on apply. And to conclude, in the inspector, I will change the camera number to three. You may have noticed something. DaVinci Resolve didn't render the effect. There is no red line. In fact, you will have to tell DaVinci Resolve to render the cache manually for Fusion FX. So to ask DaVinci Resolve to render the cache, do a right click on your clip and select Render Cache Fusion Effect Filter. Inside, you will find your effect CCTV. Click on it and you will see the red line over your clip. I will do the same for the previous clip. and we will be able to play it in real time. Like for the titles, you can boost your effects library with effects from other companies like Motion VFX. With the M16mm pack from Motion VFX, you can stylize your video clips and add a retro vibe to your edit. This time, I would like to add the same effect to the last five clips of my project. I could add this effect one by one, but as soon as I will change on one clip, I will have to do the modification to the other four. There is an easiest workflow, and for it, I will use the adjustment clip effect. A good tip is to click on the star, so the adjustment clip will always be in the favorite section, ready to use. So the adjustment clip, it's like the adjustment layer inside Photoshop. It means that you can add any effects on it or do some transformation, and all this modification will be applied to the clips below. So I will adjust the duration of the adjustment clip to cover the five videos. Then I will apply the preset 23 to it. All my clips have the same effect apply on it. Very simple and easy to use or to modify. Of course, inside the inspector, you can modify almost everything. The only drawback using the adjustment clip is the fact that Blackmagic Design did not integrate the adjustment clip inside the render cache pipeline, even if you select the effect in the render cache fusion effect filter. To enable the render cache, you will need to convert it in one compound clip. Once converted, the render cache will be activated. Besides the render cache, there is a second workflow which can be very helpful. You can use it when your effect is done and you will not modify it. 
First, I will select the adjustment clip and the clip below and create a compound clip. Then, I will do a right click again and select the render in place option. A pop up window will appear where you can choose all the quality options for the render. You can choose the format, the codec, and the type. You can also decide to include endorse in case you may add transitions. Then, I will click on render. You will select the destination where you want to add your render file and click on Open. DaVinci Resolve renders the effect and automatically add it inside your project. So you will be able to play it in real time like a regular video clip. But what is really great about this workflow is the fact that if you need to do a modification of the effect, you just have to do a right click and select decompose to original. So it will switch back to the compound clip and you can also decompose the compound clip by selecting decompose in place. Last point concerning the effects, in DaVinci Resolve you can use Fusion FX, but DaVinci Resolve is also compatible with OpenFX plugins. The great advantage of OpenFX plugins is the fact that they are very responsive as they are using optimized algorithm for GPU and CPU. So you will have a great feedback using blurs, colors FX, distortions, keying and many more. Let's add some lens flare to our shot. Like Fusion FX, OpenFX can be controlled directly inside the viewer. You just have to activate the OpenFX overlay option. You can modify the position of the lens, but also the size. The effect is very complete as you can switch between some presets. And also you can modify each component individually. I would like to remove the car and the man on the right, so I will use the mirror effect. I will add it to my clip. In the inspector, we can see the two effects, lens flare and mirror. The mirror effect is below, so the mirror effect takes care of the lens flare. If I modify the mirror effect, we can see two lens flares. To resolve this, I will change the priority of the effects by clicking on the upper row. The mirror effect will be the first in place to be processed, then the lens flare. So I will modify the mirror effect, it doesn't modify the lens flare anymore. Last information concerning the OpenFX plugins. You can add many plugins. If you have problem with one, like crashes, or you have too many plugins, you can easily manage and clean your library. Go to the system preferences, and inside the video plugin section, you can decide to enable or disable any plugins. In this case, I've got only one. I will disable it and click on save. You will have to quit DaVinci Resolve and relaunch it. When you reopen DaVinci Resolve, in your library, the plugin is not here anymore. To know more about titles and effects in DaVinci Resolve, don't hesitate to look at our dedicated tutorials on each M title and effects pack on our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Ciao, ciao. Bye bye.